I want to do, I need to make sure everything, Josh. everything's tight. Hey, Josh. We're down here. It's not going to work. Tight. This is all tight. Ken, let me ask you a few points on that left hand on the controlling. You think controlling that shoulder with that left hand on his lapel is a key point. And when you said tight, you want to really, you want to suck that arm in super tight, don't you? Where it's like a vice grip, wouldn't you say? Yes. It's a... Uh... No body space at all. No body space whatsoever. No right, body space right. At all. You, why are you pulling on the lapel? Why are you, why are you controlling that shoulder? What's the deal about that? Why not the well, arm? This gets it tighter. That's a little loose. This gets it nice and tight. Everybody, you see that? He's with his left hand. He's really by doing that. We call it a short grip. Yeah. And he's really pulling tight on that shoulder. And see how his right arm? Come around so you can see that he's really locking it, just like he's a, just like a vice grip. And he's not putting it over the top of his shoulder. He's pulling it his, into his biceps, okay? And when he spins around, he spins all the way around, and he drops like he's just, uh, you know, swirling under him, you know, like screwing himself into the mat, I always say. And you come through with it. The better I can control it, the shoulders. My personal preference, when I did so, and a lot, a lot of my athletes do, we would grab at the lapel here, or even at the pocket. In Sambo, you've got a good epaulet here, but also there's a good pocket there, whether it's a judo gi or Sambo jacket, something like that. So this is well. And you can pull here. And the better I can control the shoulder, so pop up there, and I do it. Okay? So it's kind of like your anchor. You know, your anchor here. If, he, if I'm holding this way, does he think I'm a right-sided judo guy or a left-sided judo guy? Left-sided. So left I'm holding a lefty grip, left Arnold's left holding a lefty grip. So he's thinking lefty, okay? Uh, when, when, you know, Becky, you know, used to train, you know, help Coach Kenny. She was a, she was a left-handed judo player, left-handed sambo wrestler. She would hold right <laughs> and attack left all the time because everybody thought she was a right-sided, you know. <coughs> and that's true. This is what it is. So if you can hold left here, you're gripping. It's just like you said, you're beating, getting that inside grip and everything. Yeah. All right? When he moves, you're going to feel it, okay? So if he just moves one step, I know how to react to catch. And then you get right in there, you know, Kouchi, Ochi, you know, Sainagi, you know. I can even come across and, you know, know Soda Gary and stuff. So I'm feeling how he does. This is radar. Key off him. So what a good way to do that, you're holding here, okay, force him to move. Okay, so get him to move. Now when I do this, I'm already setting him up. So if I, this is, and I'm going to throw with my, over my right hip or my right side with my left hand here. See how I shifted the hip? Little things make, make a lot of difference. So going like this. Now, I'm leading with a side I'm going to attack with. I'm leading with my hip. That's what he wants you to do when he said lead with your hip. So when I get him, if he moves this way, well, now I'm in position, I can hit that Sainagi. If he goes the other way, I can deepen in, and I can definitely throw him straight forward Sainagi. 